Everybody be safe there tomorrow night. I'm glad they're uh, getting this game in here tonight. Bangor really needed to kind of back it up and get it in. They, they already have two games that they need to kind of make up uh, somewhere along the way. So um, that's part of it all there. All right, two teams are on the floor, and we are getting ready to get things underway here. And for the home standing Rams, Rams Andrew Schwez, Landon and Max Clark, Capron Streams, and Eli Bradford. And for the Brewer, which is Colby Smith, Kyle Goodrich, Dylan Huff, Aaron Newcomb, and Brady Saunders. And Schwez goes to work. The floater in the paint doesn't go. Follow up good by Landon Clark. Good follow up there for the first bucket of the day. We talked about that Bangor size and maybe length as much as anything. There's an outside jumper, and <laughs> we talked about that too. That's uh, Kyle Goodrich, now that's a two just inside the arc. So on each end of the floor, you kind of see what each team wants to do. Bangor take advantage of the size, Brewer take uh, advantage of that shooting, and let's see what happens. We get a foul here. Looks like they're going to get it on Saunders, I think, 22. It is on Saunders, the game's first foul. Tied at two. In it comes to Bradford. Up fakes, shoots back off the back of the iron and rebounded by Smith. And he'll bring it down the floor here right to left. Almost one minute played in this much anticipated game between these two undefeated teams. And they go baseline, the jumper there, that's gonna hit the side of the backboard that time by Goodrich. Bangor pushes it up ahead. And Max Clark will settle it down here and give it up to Cabron Streams who will run the show here. Looks like he's gonna get a double high screen, come down low, defense handles that. The kick back to Clark, the three-pointer's an air ball, and here come the Witches, and a bang and a foul there goes against Max Clark. So each team has committed a foul early in this one. By the way, earlier, if you uh, were not with us with the video presentations, the Bangor freshman team won its game over Brewer, and in the JV game, Brewer beat the Bangor JVs. So it's a 1-1 split, and let's see what happens here. All right, streams. Tough defense against Saunders. Now it's Smith, and what do we have? I think a foul. And they're gonna get the foul there on streams. So one on him, two on the Rams, Smith to the hole, in and out. And streams clears the rebound. Two minutes played in this one and the game is tied at two. Bradford goes to Clark, to Streams, to Max Clark, spins, shoots, and a whistle here, and a foul against the Witches. I will have to say, both benches are cheering a lot and very loud. It's the first time that I'm actually having a little trouble hearing <laughs> the electronic whistles. They're not quite as loud as the regular whistles. First foul shot for Clark is missed. And now the second one is true. And so give Bangor a 3-2 lead here as we dip under six minutes to play in the opening quarter. All right, now Newcomb gives it up to Smith. Spins, drives, dishes to the corner, and a foul there as Dylan Huff launched question is going to be, was he beyond the arc? Yes, he was. And so Landon Clark committed the foul, and it'll be three foul shots for Huff.
Bangor's size that we talked about as Huff misses the first one. I mean, Schwez is about 6'5-ish, and Landon Clark, the freshman, I don't know. He's about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and Max is, I, I'm going to say, 6'2", six, 6'3". Six, That's a lot of size up front. And he ends up making one out of three, and it ties the game at three. Now Schwez to the hole strong, too hard off the window, and the rebound is cleared by Goodrich. A handoff now to Smith to the basket. Oh, good drop down bounce pass to Huff, and he lays it in. What a pass by Smith. Man, five to three. Witches in front, Schwez is double teamed and he throws it away. That's the first turnover of the game and now one on each side as Bangor gets it right back. And Bradford, skip pass to the other side, Clark for three, back of the rim and off. One and done for the Rams. And we go under five minutes to play, almost now four and a half minutes left. And not a heck of a lot of offense here. Five to three, pull up jumper there. That's missed by Newcomb and rebounded by the Rams. Schwez up ahead and stepping in the passing lane is Goodrich and he'll knock it out of bounds. Ben Goodwin, the coach of the Brewer Witches. Brad Libby, coach of the Bangor Rams. These two staffs know each other very well. Brad w Libby is a former Brewer Witch player, Hassan Eagles player as well. Turnaround shot, Suez can't get it to go, but rebounded by Bangor. Clark strong to the hole, off the window and in. Quick first step by Max Clark, and he's got three points. This game is tied at five. Four minutes to go in this opening quarter, and uh, open look three, that's gonna be missed by Saunders. And now a muscle tussle for the rebound there, and gonna be a held ball. And on the possession arrow, it'll go to the Witches. 3.54 now left in the opening quarter. We are tied at five. Now a drive and a little pull-up jumper in the paint. That's going to be missed by Ryder Goodwin, coach's son, just into the game. Rebounded by the Rams quickly down the court. Clark resets. Open look for Bradford, and it goes. Uh, I'm sorry, that's Joey Morrison for three, who's in off the bench for Bradford. That's a three-pointer. And the Rams rebound a miss by the Witches. Eight to five, Bangor leads, streams. Outside jumper, that's an air ball. And it was not touched and Brewer's gonna get it back. So first guy off the bench tonight, Joey Morrison with the tray giving the Rams a three-point lead. Listen to the benches over there. You'd think there was a big crowd here. Here's a pull-up jumper, that's short. That one by Goodrich. And here come the Rams. And Morrison to the corner. Clark misses. Landon Clark rebounds, and he puts it up and in. And Coach Ben Goodwin, I think, is going to take a timeout. Yes, he is. Remember, all of these timeouts are all one-minute jobbies, and so we're going to take a 30-second slice of it here right now. Timeout on the floor. Bangor leading 10-5. to 5. This is WHOU.Live. Hi, I'm Sean Moody. We take pride in our facilities, and at Moody's, it's what's inside that matters. We believe it's more than just the exterior looking good. It's what's inside that matters. Restoring the structure of your vehicle the factory respects is critical to your safety. I'm proud of our Moody's co-worker owners who understand the importance of protecting your valuable asset. And we all know what our most valuable asset is. It's what's inside that matters.
Two minutes, 35 seconds to go here in the opening quarter. This thing already has kind of lived up to its buildings. These two teams are very good, and they get at it defensively, don't they? 10 to 5, Rams with a lead. Here's Newcomb, pull up jumper. No, Schwez clears the rebound for Bangor. And he'll bring it down the floor, take it to the hole, force up a shot, and he got fouled. Just a little off balance, maybe even kind of going backwards, but he got the contact. Newcomb, they're going to say, committed the foul. And the senior, Schwez, who's averaging about 24, 25 points a game in the first two games, has his first point tonight. From the foul line, he'll get another one. And the second one is good. And it is 12 to 5 Rams. And let's see, another new player in here for the Rams. We'll get that here in just a second. With it now, Brewer. A drive in a dish. Now Smith does it again, floats one up, but leaves it short. And Bangor comes up with a loose ball. Clark to Schwez. Step back three. Yeah. No, just inside the arc, says the official. Just inside the arc. And it's 14 to 5. Bangor with a real surge late in this opening quarter. A minute 25 and counting to go. That length and size, they're switching defensively, converging on the ball. And now Brewer trying to answer. Ball kind of ends up getting kicked or off the foot of a player, ends up in the hands of Morrison, and here he comes. Hesitation dribble and passes to the wing. That's Colton Emerson, 22, who's checked in. Back to Morrison, the dribble drive, and then the dish for a, a three. Yeah, off the bench, Colton Emerson and Joey Morrison off the bench. They hit three pointers, and Bangor is up 17 to five. 35 seconds remaining in the first quarter as the witches try to make something happen, and they do. That's Dylan Huff. He's got five of their seven points. 17 to seven. Rams with the lead and the ball. Not for long, though, as Streams is called for palming the ball. Just the second turnover against the Rams. I've got two against Brewer. Uh, Wyatt Stevens is into the lineup here for the Rams. Also, Keegan Sear is in for the last possession here, perhaps. Eight seconds and counting. Brewer, maybe take that last shot. Get a handoff to Saunders. Now to the other side. There's a three. No good at the buzzer. And the first quarter is in the books. After one, Bangor 17, Brewer 7. This is WHOU.Live. MMG Insurance is a proud sponsor of high school basketball. Founded in 1897 and based in Presque Isle, MMG has independent insurance agents across Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. MMG has recently received a national award in innovation, was recognized as the Maine Company of the Year by the Maine Insurance Agents Association, and again named among the best places to work in Maine. Find out more about MMG by visiting our website, mmgins.com. MMG Insurance, protecting your piece of the world. Outfit your vehicle for tough jobs with commercial truck body and accessories at Maine Equipment in Herman, Maine. At Maine Equipment Company, we sell and install truck bodies, lift systems, garbage removal applications, and snow and sand spreading applications. Storage boxes and bed liners is also available. Call us at 207-848-5738. Dump bodies, hook lift hoists, truck bodies, sand and salt spreaders, rubbish packers. The right fit for your truck. The premier company in the state of Maine. Maine Equipment Company. 
All right, back here at Bangor High School Redberry Gym. Dale Duff with you, and we get the second quarter underway. Rams had a real strong second half to that opening quarter and lead 17 to 7. And we'll get a whistle and a foul as Bradford tried to charge toward the basket and kind of got smothered there, non-shooting situation. They're going to get Huff on that one. His first foul, and it's the fourth on Brewer. All right, here's Schwez on the baseline. Uh-oh. Kind of lowered the boom on the defender. I think that was Huff. Yeah, it was. And so Schwez picks up his first foul. That'll go in the books as a turnover as well. And now we're going to get an illegal screen, illegal pick set there by the Witches as they were. That's going to be on Huff again. So two on Huff. He's a lot, can be a lot of their offense. So he's got two early ones. And Bangor goes to work on offense here, leading by 10. Clark goes inside, and we're going to get, uh-oh, I think another foul on Schwetz. And I think it is on Schwetz, maybe for a little push to get the ball. Oh, no, it's on streams. Camp Cambrian Streams uh, picked up that foul, not Schwez. Now inside, we're going to get a foul as Huff was trying to wiggle and maneuver to try to find a passing lane. lane. He got bumped. And the foul is starting to mount up. So Bradford commits the foul. And the long-range shot missed by Newcomb, but chased down by the Witches, and they'll reset the offense. Still 17 to 7. And now look at that drive high off the glass. Newcomb can't get it to go. Schwez hurries down the floor. Hesitation dribble. Left-handed puts it up and in. Boy, I'll tell you what, that is a pretty move, and he ends up doing it left-handed at the end. 19 to 7. Rams by a dozen. Huff for three. Short. And the Clark brothers tandem there. Come down with a rebound. And Bangor on offense again. Open look. Clark for three. That rattles in and out. And the weak side rebound brought down by Saunders. Probably their tallest player, I'm going to say, maybe 6-3. All right. Great motion offense here. A handoff sets up for a three. That's missed by Newcomb. They just haven't found the range from three-point land here yet. And it's 19-7 Bangor. And this thing is kind of sailing along here. Five 35 and counting to go till halftime. They go to the high post. Schwez double teamed. Fires up a shot. No. And rebound is cleared out of there by Goodrich. Quickly down the floor. Huff. Now Smith. Foul line. Pass batted and recovered by Saunders, and he'll give it up now to Goodrich. Good bounce pass to Huff, and he gets body bumped by Clark, and it will put Huff on the line here. So Landon Clark now has two personals. This is a shooting situation, so he'll get two shots, but that is the seventh team foul. And now the second free throw is true as well. 
Huff now has seven of their nine points. Goodrich has the others. All right, Morrison surveys the scene, comes to the high post to Clark, to Bradford in the corner, no. Rebound Emerson, the spinorama, and Colby Smith ends up on the deck. Doesn't seem to be a big argument there, so maybe uh, Emerson did bang into him there, and that'll be his first. And Brewer walks it up the floor. 440 left in the second quarter. 19 to 9. Rams by 10. Brewer with the ball. Smith comes off a high screen there by Goodwin. Jitterbugs to the middle, floats one up and in. He is so tricky with the ball, isn't he? Just a junior and can really run the show. Oh, there's a pull-up foul line jumper missed by Morrison and rebounded by the Wiggins. Down the floor they come. They pass to the open corner. The look there, Newcomb can't get it to go. Cameron Hughes, number 34, has checked into the game. Bangor loses it. That'll be their fifth turnover of the night, and it turns into two points for Kyle Goodrich on the other end of the floor. And all of a sudden, this thing is back to a six-point game. And now... As Schwez launched a three, we have a whistle. And I don't think it had to do with the shot. I guess Ryder Goodwin, that was away from the ball. So that's the sixth team foul on Brewer. Bangor already over the limit with eight. Now the drive and then the little fade away jumper, Keegan Sear. How about that one? Keegan Sear. And it's 21 to 13, trying to answer with the tray. That's missed by Saunders, batted around. And finally Hughes comes down with it, gets it up to uh, Hughes, I guess I should say, from, God, from a good one. And the rebound after the missed shot and Bangor will walk it down the floor. Three minutes to go. Man, this first quarter, or first half is flying by. 21 to 13, Rams by eight. Emerson three, this one doesn't go. Rebound is tipped, but right in the hands of Smith, starts the fast break, intercepted by Sear. He's trying to save it in is Emerson, but he couldn't tiptoe the baseline there. And it'll go back over to the Witches with 2.39 to go in the first half. We'll get you the Katahdin Trust Company halftime report here, about two and a half minutes away from now. Clock time, that is. All right, with it is Goodwin. Gives it up now to Huff. Tries to make a beautiful bounce pass block. Landon Clark blocked that shot by Hughes. And the Rams come back down the floor. The ball just gets loose. There's no foul. Witches end up with it. Can't get one layup, but do get the next one. And that's going to be Dylan Huff on the follow. So that's... Uh, Nine points for him as Bangor launches early but misses the shot. And Colton Emerson is called for a hold there. And shots are going to come at the other end of the floor for the Witches. Emerson, 
So 21 to 15, six point lead. Smith can add two more on the total here for the Witches from the line. And he does. His first trip to the line tonight. That makes it a five point game. Now a chance to make it four. And he does. So 21-17, Bangor has led by as much as a dozen, but right now the lead is four. And we've got a minute 45 and counting. They double up the ball, take it away, Huff to the hole, and he scores. He is missed. offense when you need some offense look for number 14 21 to 19 two point lead for the Rams and the ball Schwez jumper baseline no Clark rebound puts it right back up and in stayed with it had it a little bit batted out of his hands but regathered and it's 23 to 19 Here's a step back jumper in the paint. That's gonna be missed by Newcomb. Morrison clears the rebound. And the Rams get it to Clark for three. Yes, Landon Clark. Just when it got tight, he scores five unanswered points. And there's a timeout on the floor. 57 seconds remain in the second quarter. Bangor's lead is seven. We'll take a 30 second timeout right here on WHOU.live. At Aroostook Savings and Loan, we believe local businesses are the heart and soul of the community. We understand the challenges you face. You work hard to keep your employees working, to provide for your family, and to give back to your community. It's that attitude and spirit that is so important. Aroostook Savings and Loan has the same philosophy. We take time to listen and offer deposit and lending solutions to fit your needs. We're committed to helping your business grow. A Roostic Savings and Loan, helping one business at a time for over 80 years. All right, here we go out of the timeout here. Brewer had closed the gap to four. Landon Clark with five unanswered points. And Bangor's lead now is back to seven. And a drive and a dish to the corner. 40 seconds to go in the half. Smith kind of trips on his own, but gets rid of the ball. And now stepping out of bounds is gonna be Hughes. He drove the baseline. I think he wanted to make a cross lane bounce pass, but stepped out of bounds on the way. I've got them down for Brewer for four turnovers, Bangor for five. And now 20 seconds and counting to go in the first half. Let's see if the Rams hold for the final shot here. They lead it by seven. All right, Clark drives, kicks outside. Morrison for three. No, rebound Clark. They go inside. Schwez cannot get the shot off. He was trying to go up with the shot, but had it deflected and the half comes to an end. Well, we told you this thing had a lot of promise to it and uh, that was a good first half of play. So Bangor with a seven point lead halfway through 26 to 19. We're gonna get ready to go to our Katahdin Trust Company halftime report next. We're going to take a three-minute break here first, and we'll come back to Red Berry Gym after that. This is WHOU.Live. 
Northern Maine Community College invests in the most current technology used in the field for each program. This hands-on experience prepares and ensures graduate success as they enter the workforce. Residential life allows students to live on campus and focus on their education while enrolled. We are also recruiting for our new eSports team, which competes against top colleges in today's most popular video games. To learn more, visit nmcc.edu. Succeed here. It doesn't matter if your tractor is colored orange, blue, or green. At Greenway Equipment Sales, we have a Woods attachment to fit your machine. Woods offers a full line of rugged, high-quality attachments with innovative features that increase productivity, maximize performance, and minimize your downtime. Whether you're a landscaper, contractor, or homeowner, you'll find the right attachment from Woods. From backhoes to the popular brush bull rotary cutter. To get a Woods attachment for your tractor, visit the Smith Brothers today at Greenway Equipment Sales in Ellsworth and Bangor. Herring Brothers Meats has been in business in the Central Maine area for over 100 years. They are a federal USDA plant that provides processing of beef, pork, lamb, and goat by appointment and is also MOFGA certified. Herring Brothers also has a full retail store able to cut to your needs. They offer beef, pork, chicken, specialty sausage, and their famous Wicked Good Beef Jerky. Excellence at ground level is what you get with Jay McLaughlin Construction in Holton. Founded in 2012, the company plans the construction of streets, residential areas, and commercial buildings, and they are involved in both public and private projects. Their high-quality work and many years of experience have earned them an excellent reputation and a loyal client base. Regardless of whether you need a detailed plan for a building or would like to build a road, Jay McLaughlin Construction is your reliable partner for all your engineering needs. Call Jay McLaughlin Construction at 532-6335 or 694-2546. Whether you want to get back to work, back to sports, or simply back to living your life, County Physical Therapy can help you achieve your goals. With an individualized plan of care from the most experienced and caring team of physical and occupational therapists, County Physical Therapy has a focus on results to get you back to where you want to be. Remember, it's your life, it's your health, it's your choice. Make the best choice. Experience, value, results. County Physical Therapy. Orono and Callis IGAs are your hometown proud, locally owned and operated supermarkets in Orono and Callis. We have a full line of groceries, meat, produce, deli, bakery, dairy, frozen, and more with prices and selection better than the box stores. Both stores have gift certificates, gift cards, photocopying, faxing, lottery tickets, bankroll, weekly cash drawing, and visit our Orono location where we offer ATM services, UPS shipping, and payment services. You will love our down-home friendly service. Your hometown proud IGA, proud to be serving the community. We are Orono and Callis IGAs. Why should your business bank with Katahdin Trust? Well, whether it's our dedication to customer service, our focus on building relationships, our commitment to community, or our suite of digital tools, there's no shortage of reasons that Katahdin Trust is community banking at its best. Or brought to you by Katahdin Trust Company. Let me get you through some of the numbers here. First of all, for Bangor with a 26 to 19 lead, a seven point lead here, uh, it goes like this. Uh, Landon Clark with nine points to lead the way. Schwez has six. And then everybody else has kind of chipped in. Max Clark has three. Joey Morrison has three. Colton Emerson has three. Keegan Sear has a basket. And Eli Bradford, uh, I take that back. He does not have a free throw there. Put that in the wrong column there. So that's your halftime total of 26. I've got the Rams down for uh, just five turnovers. And for the Brewer Witches, uh, only three players have scored. Dylan Huff leading the way, 11 points. He's got uh, four field goals and three foul shots. And Kyle Goodrich and Colby Smith are the other scorers, uh, each with four points a piece. I've got them down for uh, uh, four turnovers in the game. These two teams, as I said at the outset, undefeated. Now, Bangor um, has had a couple of games uh, postponed along the way, so they're 2-0. and oh. This uh, Brewer team has beaten MDI, Foxcroft, Hamden, and Orono, so they're already off to a 4-0 and o start. Remember, everybody's trying to get in 12 games and then 
the plan is calling for some sort of a, a, a local or, if you will, a regional or a pod uh, uh, type of uh, postseason. Uh, we'll we'll kind of wait and see what form uh, that will take. But um, I, I do believe everybody gets in, that they'll... Uh, They'll give everybody a chance to get some extra games um, in those uh, the first two weeks of March is uh, when uh, they're planning to do that. While I have a chance, I do want to remind you on the injury report uh, during our broadcast. They're brought to you by County Physical Therapy. Whether you want to get back in sports, back to work, or simply back to living your life, County Physical Therapy can help. They've got five locations in Aroostook County and the newest location here in Bangor. So if you need physical therapy, ask for County Physical Therapy. And uh, one other note that I wanted to mention here on the schedule. Remember, this is a game that was originally scheduled to be played tomorrow night, but because of the impending storm, they decided to get it in tonight. Uh, Wednesday night, it's Bangor and Brewer again, only this time it's on the ice. And the two hockey teams are uh, very, very good as well. And uh, both teams are undefeated there, too. Bangor has one tie. Um... But they'll play at Sawyer Arena on Wednesday night. The new start time for that is 6.40. They've uh, moved it up to start a little bit earlier uh, because they're going to have a second varsity game afterward. Hamden Academy and Old Town Orono will play at about 8.30. Uh, that is a game that was, I think, originally scheduled maybe for tomorrow, and they've moved that up ahead to Wednesday. So uh, should be two. We'll have both games streaming live for you uh, from Sawyer. It should be there. There are four great hockey teams in this uh, greater Bangor area, and uh, it isn't very often we get back-to-back -back varsity games. It should be should be fun there. All right, going to get in our final two-minute break. We're going to take a two-minute break, and then we're going to get this third quarter underway. Bangor 26, Brewer 19. This is WHOU.Live. Napa knows every driver deserves quality parts. With 27 locations in Maine, Coastal Auto Parts is bringing quality to local communities. Our knowledgeable customer service teams and massive inventory helps us get the parts you need when you need them. And when you sign up for Napa Rewards, you'll save more each time you shop. Stop by one of our locations today to learn more. Coastal Auto Parts is owned and operated by a Maine family that cares. Napa know how. Napa know how. Our motto and something that we feel is deeply rooted in everything we do at Thompson Financial Group is your family, your future. Small businesses and families alike are facing new hurdles at a rapid pace while trying to reach their goal of financial certainty. We're here to stand as guardians for your future, providing you with the roadmap for your journey. Hello, this is Scott Walker with First Choice Real Estate. We're located at Three Stage Road in Herman and at 46 North Street in Holton, serving the county to the coast. You can find us on the web at firstchoicerealestate.com where you can view residential properties, commercial properties, you can see land, investment properties, hunting camps, cabins, waterfront, all sorts of different options. So you can visit our firstchoicerealestate.com website or our mainlandbroker.com website and we can connect you with agents serving the county to the coast. Hey, my name is Joseph, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A nuggets is they're so good. Every single time you bite into that nugget and it's just so crispy but somehow juicy, that perfect balance. And then if you just grab a couple sauces, you're going to be in heaven. Hey, I'm Chambray, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A's mac and cheese is how rich and cheesy it is. I just scoop the crispy top, and it's so good. It's so homey. It's like, wow, thank you. I needed that. Begins here at Red Berry Gym for half number two. Bangor and Brewer going at it. Rams with a seven point lead. Witches with a ball. And with it is Newcomb. A handoff there goes to Saunders and now Smith, who hands off now to Goodrich. Good Bangor defense splits it. Comes and drives, step up three, is on the way. Saunders misses that one. 
and Bradford clears the rebound here for the Rams. And Bangor will start their offense for the first time here in the second half. With it is Clark. Back to Landon Clark. Spins and he's body bumped on the spin move. And I think they're going to get 22. Yeah, they will. Saunders. Two on him. None shooting situation. And so Streams will throw in from the baseline. Comes to Schwez. Inside Clark, they double up on him, gets rid of it to his older brother, and Max hits the little pop-up jumper from about six feet away. And Bangor ups its lead now to nine early in this third quarter. All right, Saunders, Newcomb, now to Smith. Oh, good pass inside, Huff, and he traveled. The shot was blocked there by Schwez, but before that, I think Smith shuffled the feet a bit. That's the fifth turnover against Brewer. And Bangor back on the attack here, leading by nine. And the ball, Schwez three, back of the iron and off. Long rebound, tracked down, up ahead to Newcomb. Outside, it goes to Saunders, back inside. That shot won't go. And Bradford clears the rebound, brings it up over the timeline. Might have got a little body bump there. Now Streams starts the move to the hole. High off the window, can't get it to go. Tip back to Landon Clark. He can't get it to go. And that's two misses for the Rams, kicking themselves that trip down the floor. And let's see if the Witches can cash in on this end of the floor. Drive strong to the hole. That shot is missed by Goodrich. And here come the Rams. 5.35 and counting left in the third quarter. 28 to 19. Bangor's lead is nine plus the ball here. And now Schwez out beyond the arc. Couple of dribbles, wants to spin, defense collapse. We got a foul. He just kept forcing the issue as more defenders came and somebody got him on the arm. And the senior will go to the line here and shoot two. Newcomb picks up his second foul of the night. And Schwez hits the first free throw. That'll give him seven points tonight. He's got uh, just two field goals so far. And the second one is missed. And so back comes Brewer, leaving it short is Huff on a lay-in. I think it's a 30. Isn't it 30 should be? Uh, No, 29, you're right, 29, it was 28, so 29-19. Schwez misses from long range, and a whistle, the official blew the whistle saying, I need to check it. Hey, that's, yeah. I, I was thinking maybe the same thing Bangor was thinking that maybe it's 30 and not 29, but that's this is this is the correct uh, correct score 29 to 19. So a 10 point Rams lead. Brewer with the ball, 4:35 to go third quarter, live from Redberry Gym, and now uh, almost steal by Clark, but recovered by the Witches. Newcomb back. An up fake and a drive. Now Huff for three. Back of the rim and off. And Clark clears the rebound. Quickly down floor. Streams too far ahead for Max Clark. And that'll be turnover number six here against the Rams. A lot of action, but not a lot of points here in the third quarter as we almost get to the halfway mark. That shot missed by the Witches. And it's one and done for Brewer. And Streams with it. 
comes to the high post area to Bradford outside. Schwez just can't get those long range shots. And uh oh, out of frustration, he kind of reaches in and ends up fouling Smith. And let's see if that's his second or third. I guess that's his second. And the first foul on the Rams. So still now 29-19. Bangor leading by 10. Brewers Smith with a handoff now to Hughes, to Newcomb, up and under, block, gets it back and puts it up and in. There's some good stick to itiveness by the junior Aaron Newcomb, his first bucket of the night. And now Clark leans, shoots, no. Huff clears the rebound. And Smith charges for the hole. The scoop shot is up and in. Found just enough daylight to get it up and in. And here come the witches again as they now trail by just six after back-to-back -back baskets here. And now Clark off the window, no. Tries to go up with it, gets stripped. And now Smith is tripped up on the play. I think Bradford got him there. And it is on Bradford. Two on, uh, two on him, two on the team. So Joey Morrison checks back in, as does Colton Emerson for Coach Brad Libby. And now in backcourt, boy, Smith is drawing a lot of contact here. Now the foul goes against Morrison. And the fouls are kind of, team fouls are mounting up here for the Rams. I think that's their fourth. 2.35 and counting to go in the third quarter. Bangor by six, Newcomb inside, shot blocked on a Hughes shot. Recovered though by Huff, and the Witches restart the offense. Smith floater, no, crashing for the rebounds. Rams get it, and a foul here as Ryder Goodwin came in and grabbed that rebound out of nowhere and got fouled on the putback attempt. And the sophomore's gonna get Two shots. Foul's gonna go against Landon Clark. That'll be three on him. And the sophomore Goodwin makes the first free throw. And makes the second free throw. And all of a sudden, it's a four point game again. Remember, Witches did this in the first half. 29, 25, Bangor's lead. Clark up fake, dribble drives, takes the shot and gets the friendly roll. Smooth looking shot there. He's got 11 points. Bangor now by a half a dozen. Newcomb drive, dish, now to Smith. They won't let him drive in, but he finds an open Goodwin and he lays it up and in. Great find by Smith. And it's 31-27. Four point Ram lead. Clark for three, yes! Boy, this is just like the opening half. It was Landon Clark with some baskets to kind of settle things down. Great pass again. And this time Hughes lays it up and in. They kind of double up on the ball, but they're able to get the pass to the big guy. And it's 34-29 Rams, and Schwez is gonna get held on the way to the hole. I think it's before the shot. It is. It'll be a throw-in coming from the baseline here. And Morrison will trigger it here from the baseline. Out high to Schwez. And now Sear inside to Clark. 
trying to maneuver, sends the ball right back out though to Schwez. Now it goes to Sear, the three-pointer is missed. Smith the rebound up ahead, too far ahead, and it's turned over. Schwez comes back, spins, and we're gonna get a travel. On that spin a -rama move, they say it's a travel before any contact. And that'll be the seventh foul, a uh, seventh turnover. All right, 35 seconds to go in the quarter. Five point Rams lead, which is with the ball. And they do that dribble handoff, and now Smith, so dangerous with those passes. He'll pull it out. Looks like they're gonna hold for the final shot. 18 seconds and counting now. Which is down by five, but will take the final shot of the quarter. Eight seconds to go. And now Smith goes to the corner, out to Huff, blocked by Schwez. They get it back, and at the buzzer, Huff leaves it short. And that's how the third quarter ends. Bangor, 34, and Brewer, 29. The fourth quarter is next after we take this one-minute quarter break on WHOU.Live. Hi, I'm Sean Moody. We take pride in our facilities, and at Moody's, it's what's inside that matters. We believe it's more than just the exterior looking good. It's what's inside that matters. Restoring the structure of your vehicle, the factory specs is critical to your safety. I'm proud of our Moody's co-worker owners who understand the importance of protecting your valuable asset. And we all know what our most valuable asset is. It's what's inside that matters. MMG Insurance is a proud sponsor of high school basketball. Founded in 1897 and based in Presque Isle, MMG has independent insurance agents across Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. MMG has recently received a national award in innovation, was recognized as the Maine Company of the Year by the Maine Insurance Agents Association, and again named among the best places to work in Maine. Find out more about MMG by visiting our website, mmgins.com. MMG Insurance, protecting your piece of the world. Back at Redberry Gym here, Dale Duff with you, my videographer Tyler Huey tonight, and we're happy to have you along. This game has lived up to billing, two undefeated teams going at it. Bangor's lead is five, and now make it seven, as Landon Clark goes to work on a dribble drive move, and it's 36-29. Bangor extends the lead, and now a bump and a foul. It's going to be an offensive foul there on Huff. That's going to be his third foul, and it's going to be four on Brewer. Each team has committed four team fouls here in the half. All right, Bangor by seven and the ball. And with it, Bradford across the court to Clark. And Streams catches the pass. I don't think it was meant for him. Now he'll dive to the middle. Got to get rid of it and does. Bradford takes a three. That's off the mark. And the rebound is chased down by Saunders. Up ahead, Huff got a step reverse. Lay in is good. Oh, Dylan Huff. He's got 13 points. And it's back to a five-point thing. Bangor 36, Brewer 31. And Clark to the corner. Skip pass, good movement. Schwez spins, takes it to the hole, and will get a hold there again on that spinorama move before the shot. They're going to get Goodrich. And that's his second and there'll be five on the team. All right, throw in from the baseline, comes out high to Max Clark, who will hand off to Schwez, and now he'll dribble dry, put up the shot, and it will not go, but he gets bumped and fouled. The defense collapsed, but too late there. They collapsed two guys, and uh, too late, and so Schwez will 
go to the line here and get two shots. They're going to uh, tag Newcomb with a foul, and that'll be four on him. Schwez at the line makes the first one. He is four for five from the line. And now four for six. So, six-point lead for Bangor. Brewer with the ball. And with it is Saunders. Back to Colby Smith, who will hand off now to Goodrich. And they throw it away. Uh-oh. Trying to do that weave and uh, dribble in the handoff. And then somebody's supposed to be open in that corner, but there was just nobody there. And that'll be the eighth turnover of the night here against the Witches. As we close in now on six minutes to play. Now six minutes and counting to play in the game. Bangors by a half a dozen. And Clark got up in the air. Luckily it got deflected for him and went right to Schwez. And they'll reset the offense here. Schwez trying to dribble. He's out of control and loses the handle. And back comes Brewer. Huff along the baseline. Count the basket and one. Ryder Goodwin with a great head fake. Got the defender up in the air. Count the basket and one. And Landon Clark commits the foul and that will be his fourth. By the way, Ryder Goodwin, the coach's son, just a sophomore. That's a big time play there. And he also gets the free throw. And the three point lead is really the closest since uh, early, early in the game. 37 34. Bangor's lead and the ball. Schwez takes it. Floats one up and gets the friendly roll. Hit the rim and then drop down in for him nicely. That's just his third field goal of the night. 39-34 Rams. Now hop hard to the hole. Too hard as he banged into the defender. And that'll be an offensive foul on Huff. Uh-oh, he's got four. So he's got four, Newcomb has four, and Landon Clark for Bangor has four. Landon Clark is out of the game right now here for the Rams. 39-34 Rams. We go under five minutes to play in the game. What a game here at Redberry Gym tonight. They go to the corner, Clark back out now to Sear. The entry pass is going to go out of bounds, and I think uh, Schwez got a finger on it, and it went out of bounds off of him. Turnover number nine against the Rams. All right, with it now, Goodrich. Or, I uh, beg your pardon, that's uh, Newcomb. Now it's Smith. And now Hoff. Dribble handoff goes to Saunders. And now inside, Goodwin to the hole. And he lays it in. Ryder Goodwin, five points in this fourth quarter. It's back to a three-point thing, 39-36. Under four minutes to play in the game. Schwez to Sear for three, no. And good position on the rebounding for Brady Sand Saunders. And we're going to get a timeout as Brewer comes down the floor. 3.49 to play in the game. Bangor's lead, once double digits, is now down to three. We'll take a 30-second timeout next here on WHOU.Live.
Outfit your vehicle for tough jobs with commercial truck body and accessories at Maine Equipment in Herman, Maine. At Maine Equipment Company, we sell and install truck bodies, lift systems, garbage removal applications, and snow and sand spreading applications. Storage boxes and bed liners is also available. Call us at 207-848-5738. Dump bodies, hook lift hoists, truck bodies, sand and salt spreaders, rubbish packers. The right fit for your truck. The premier company in the state of Maine. Maine Equipment Company. All right, back here, Red Berry, Jim, Dale Duff with you. And we're getting close to crunch time here. Inside of four minutes to go. Bangor's lead is three. Brewers got the ball. And they'll take the jumper. That's going to miss. Rebound tip right into the hands of Goodwin. And he gets whacked on the arm as he goes up with the shot. And I'll tell you what, the sophomore off the bench here is paying big, big benefits for for the coach, also known as dad. <laughs> and uh, he makes the free throw. Let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten. That's ten points for Goodwin, all in the second half. And now make it 11. And it is a one point game, 39. 38 Rams and the ball. Clark's back in there. Good cut to his brother. And the pass intended for the baseline knocked out of bounds. They're going to say Brewer. I think Smith got a hand on it. I think he would debate that issue, it looked like. But so Bre uh, Bangor will keep. And it'll come deep here to Schwez. And he'll get it to Clark. Back to Schwez. And now Landon Clark streams to Landon for three. That one is off the back of the rim, loose, but tracked down. And here come the Witches. A chance to grab the lead. Newcomb gives it up to Huff. They're trailing by one. Smith. Handoff goes to Huff. 240 and counting. Now Goodwin, guarded tightly by Morrison, gives it up. Huff for three. No. Fight for the rebound. And Morrison comes down with it. And he got hammered on the way down. And he's going to shoot some foul shots here at the other end of the floor. Wow, this is good stuff. Two minutes and 30 seconds exactly on the clock time here. Joey Morrison will shoot one and one. And he misses the front end. Saunders, by the way, committed the foul for Brewer. That's his third. All right, again, chance to grab the lead here for the Witches. They're down by one. And Newcomb tries to drive, and he barrels into the defender. And I think that's going to be it for Newcomb. I think that's his fifth foul. And it is. So the charge call there, and it is five. And it's the ninth foul against the Witches in this half. Next time they foul, it'll be double bonus time for the Rams. And here comes Bangor with that one-point lead. And Coach Brad Libby wants to take the time out this time. We will, too. Two minutes, 11 seconds to play. Bangor leads Brewer by one point. A 30-second break on WHOU.Live. At Aroostook Savings and Loan, we believe local businesses are the heart and soul of the community. We understand the challenges you face. You work hard to keep your employees working, to provide for your family, and to give back to your community. It's that attitude and spirit that is so important. Aroostook Savings and Loan has the same philosophy. 
We take time to listen and offer deposit and lending solutions to fit your needs. We're committed to helping your business grow. A Roostic Savings and Loan, helping one business at a time for over 80 years. All right, teams come out of the huddles, and here we go. The reset like this. Two minutes, 11 seconds to play in the game. Bangor 39, Brewer 38. Side out for the Rams. And Streams has it. He's being guarded by Goodrich. Now Morrison to Clark, to Landon Clark. Dribble drive, leaner, shot rattles in. Every time they need a big basket tonight, Landon Clark is there. 41-38. And Brewer goes to work on the switching defense. In the corner, Huff. Now in to Saunders. And what do we get? Timeout. Timeout called this time by Ben Goodwin with 138 remaining. We'll go ahead and take another 30, si 30 second timeout and get ready to come back for the finish here next. Bangor leading Brewer by three. This is WHOU.live. Northern Maine Community College invests in the most current technology used in the field for each program. This hands-on experience prepares and ensures graduate success as they enter the workforce. Residential life allows students to live on campus and focus on their education while enrolled. We are also recruiting for our new eSports team, which competes against top colleges in today's most popular video games. To learn more, visit nmcc.edu. Succeed here. All right, here we go, out of the timeout. That one taken by Brewer. Side out, 41 to 38. Bangor leads by three. Brewer throws in. Both teams in the bonus if fouls happen. Here's Smith, pass, tip, out of bounds, and it's gonna be last touch by Goodwin on the baseline. And the tenth turnover of the night is a costly one here for the Witches. Now they try to trap the ball. Bangor gets it up ahead with a minute 20 and counting. Let's see how much time they want to get here. And we're going to get another timeout here. And uh, we'll go ahead and get in another 30-second timeout here if we can do it. 118 to play. Bangor's lead is three. 30 second break here on WHOU.live. It doesn't matter if your tractor is colored orange, blue, or green. At Greenway Equipment Sales, we have a Woods attachment to fit your machine. Woods offers a full line of rugged, high-quality attachments with innovative features that increase productivity, maximize performance, and minimize your downtime. Whether you're a landscaper, contractor, or homeowner, you'll find the right attachment from Woods, from backhoes to the popular brush bull rotary cutter. To get a Woods attachment for your tractor, visit the Smith Brothers today at Greenway Equipment Sales in Ellsworth and Bangor. All right, high drama here at Redberry Gym at Bangor High School. Landon Clark, by the way, 18 points. Have I said before he's a freshman? <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> 18 points and some big baskets for the Rams tonight. And they immediately foul Schwez to stop the clock. Foul's going to be against Brady Saunders. Everybody's got a lot of fouls. I mean, Landon Clark for Bangles playing with four. And that's going to be four now on Saunders. Newcomb has fouled out. I think Huff has four fouls, too. And meanwhile, back at the foul line, it's Andrew Schwez, the senior, makes the first free throw. That puts his team up four. Now a chance to put him up five. And he does. And we'll get another timeout, and we're going to hold it right here with a minute 17 to go. So for Bangor, with a lead now of 5, 43, 38. So uh, they've scored, what, four unanswered points because it was 39, 38. 
and uh, Bangor has scored four uh, straight points. But Clark has 18 points for the Rams tonight. For Schwez, he, uh, he only has three field goals, but he's got one, two, three, four, five, six free throws. So he's got uh, a dozen points. So Clark and Schwez leading the way. Huff has 13 points. Goodwin off the bench has 8, 10, 11. He's got 11 off the bench for the Witches, all in the second half, by the way. So Huff and Goodwin, the leading scorers. All right, let's see what happens. Brewer with the ball. And we're closing in here, close to one minute to go in the game. And there's the shot. That's going to be missed by Goodwin. Tipped, and Schwez has it. And we're now down to one minute to play. One minute to play, and they foul Joey Morrison. And he'll go back to the foul line. The junior will get a chance to shoot double bonus. This is the tenth foul against the Witches, so it's a double bonus. Automatic two foul shots here. And the first one is true. He had a big three-pointer earlier in the game on one of the Bangor runs in the first half. Two for two from the line. Two big free throws and another timeout. We'll hold it here with 58 seconds to play in the game. And Bangor has now scored a half dozen, right? It's a 45, so they've scored six unanswered points. It was 39-38. And Bangor has answered with six points here to lead. Um... Uh, to lead by seven. <laughs> now they're up seven. And uh, it's getting late at night for me to come up with the math. As anybody who knows me, math can be a trouble. <laughs> Evening show math. <laughs> 38, or excuse me, 58 seconds left. 58 seconds left. And uh, again, if Bangor fouls, it's one and one. It'll be the seventh team foul against the Rams. They're going to do everything they can to avoid fouling, I'm sure, here. And here comes Brewer. Smith straight to the hole. Off the window, no. Put back, yes. Colby Smith stayed with it and got the basket. And it makes it 46 to 40. And they'll foul Landon Clark in backcourt. But I think... They're going to get Dylan Smith, and he's going to walk over to the bench because that's going to be five on him. So Huff fouls out. Newcomb has fouled out. And the freshman Landon Clark on the line for the first time tonight. And the foul shot is good. 40 seconds even left in the game. Second one is good as well. That's a 20-point night for Landon Clark. All right, 35 seconds and counting. 47-40, Bangor's got the turnover, and the immediate foul is given by Goodrich. Another turnover here by the Witches, and no choice but to foul, and they're gonna put Clark back on the line and remember, it's over the 10 foul limit, so it's a double bonus with just 31 seconds remaining. And Mr. Cool makes the first one. And the second one's a bit short, and it's 48-40. And time running out for the Witches. And Colby Smith, they'll kind of let him go to the hole and make sure they don't foul. And then Coach Goodwin will spend another time out. I don't know how many more he's got left in the hip pocket over there, but it can't be many. What did they get? Five, I think, right, per team? And uh, I know Bangor has uh, 
called a couple of three of these, but just 24.2 seconds to be exact, 24.2, uh, but it's 48-42, and Bangor's lead is six. They've uh, led tonight by as many as a dozen, and then Brewer made it a one-point game at 39-38 here in the fourth quarter, and now... Brewer, I'm sure, will go for a steal and then foul. If they can't get the steal, they've got to foul and extend this game out a bit. And they will get it into streams, and they'll foul him. And that'll be Goodrich. And let's check how many on him. Streams will go to the other end and shoot double bonus. That's four on him. So, Cabron Streams, first time at the line here tonight. And that one is good. He's the point guard of this team. His sister's the point guard for the freshman team. He's a junior. And he rattles in the second one. Some big free throws. And Coach Libby, I think this time, takes a timeout with 22.9 seconds left. And it's 50 to 42. Bangor here in the fourth quarter. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 times at the foul line. And I have them 10 for 13 in the fourth quarter. That's darn good foul shooting down the stretch, isn't it, here in the fourth quarter? They only have three field goals in the quarter but have those 10 free throws. Here's Smith to the hole again, off the window and in. And now just 14 seconds left. They'll stop the clock to pick up the loose ball. Just 14 seconds left, a six point Rams lead. Schwez gets it and coming over to foul him will be Goodwin. And Schwez will try to add to the foul line parade here with just 12.5 seconds remaining and the first one gives the Rams a seven point lead and now a chance to make it eight and he does so that is what 12 for 15 in this quarter. Smith launches three, no. Follow-up is good. That's gonna be Ryder Goodwin. And the time is gonna expire. Bangor doesn't have to bring it in. And this one is over. Bangor, 52, and Brewer, 46. These two teams will play again over in Brewer. I think they play on the last, uh, as it stands now, maybe the last of the regular season nights. And who knows whatever type of playoff they're going to have. But that was one heck of a game. The Rams win it by a 52-46 score. We are going to take a two-minute break, and we'll get to our Chick-fil-A Bangor post-game show next on WHOU.Live. Herring Brothers Meats has been in business in the Central Maine area for over 100 years. They are a federal USDA plant that provides processing of beef, pork, lamb, and goat by appointment and is also MOFGA certified. Herring Brothers also has a full retail store able to cut to your needs. They offer beef, pork, chicken, specialty sausage, and their famous Wicked Good Beef Jerky. Excellence at ground level is what you get with Jay McLaughlin Construction in Holton. Founded in 2012, the company plans the construction of streets, residential areas, and commercial buildings, and they are involved in both public and private projects. Their high-quality work and many years of experience have earned them an excellent reputation and a loyal client base. Regardless of whether you need a detailed plan for a building or would like to build a road, Jay McLaughlin Construction is your reliable partner for all your engineering needs. Call Jay McLaughlin Construction at 532-6335 or 694-2546. Whether you want to get back to work, back to sports, or simply back to living your life, 
County Physical Therapy can help you achieve your goals. With an individualized plan of care from the most experienced and caring team of physical and occupational therapists, County Physical Therapy has a focus on results to get you back to where you want to be. Remember, it's your life, it's your health, it's your choice. Make the best choice. Experience, value, results. County Physical Therapy. Orono and Callis IGAs are your hometown proud, locally owned and operated supermarkets in Orono and Callis. We have a full line of groceries, meat, produce, deli, bakery, dairy, frozen, and more with prices and selection better than the box stores. Both stores have gift certificates, gift cards, photocopying, faxing, lottery tickets, bankroll, weekly cash drawing, and visit our Orono location where we offer ATM services, UPS shipping, and payment services. You will love our down-home friendly service. Your hometown proud IGA, proud to be serving the community. We are Orono and Callis IGAs. Well, we welcome you back here to Redberry Gym in Bangor. Dale Duff with you for the post-game show, which is brought to you by the good folks at Chick-fil-A Bangor. What a ball game. We told you. That